So what I want to do now is I want to use uh, a piece of a candle. Okay. Look, I've cut that for you already, so Aww. it's easier. <laughs> You're getting better. Yeah, I'm getting better. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to apply some wax at some areas. You can use a tea light. You don't have to use this like huge candle and cut it apart. This just happened to be an old candle or the only one I had at home. So you use it at some areas where you're like, you know, I would love to keep this. So um, I'm not really interested in this blank area here, for example. So wherever I put my wax and then we paint over with something else right. afterwards, right. that's where the paint will not stick. Right. So everything I want to be covered up should mm -hmm. not have wax. Okay. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Right, so... The wax will preserve whatever is beneath it. Right, so I like this row of numbers here, so I want to make sure that I kind of like use the wax here. I like how this area looks, so I'm... You can't control it like 100%, but right. you can do it like a little bit. Okay. And how much you do is really up to you. This is a dirty candle. This is what happens. This is what happens at home to me too, and I just roll with it, guys. So this is what we do. Just roll with it. And so just to make them loose, and then I can use this and paint some area. I don't have to paint everything. Um, kind of like where you know where the wax is you want to go over, but you might have forgotten already, so it doesn't really matter. Mix that with the yellow a little bit to get a different orange too, and just like go with it and ruin the table. <laughs> <laughs> We're good at that. Yeah. We've got that nailed down. I'm creating some interesting greens over here. Yeah, this is interesting. And then you could also use, I love to use unbleached titanium which mm -hmm. is not this like very bright white. Um, unbleached titanium is one of my favorite whites to use for more natural look. And I think that goes very well with book paper too. So if you that. would um, clean your brush. Should I move this over for you? Yeah, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. So actually at home, I, and that's the reason why I have so many brushes in there too, I use a lot of the same brushes throughout uh, this and then if I have a dirty brush, I don't take don't it out of the water. It. I just take the next brush. Right. It helps to have an assortment of uh, different brushes. So look, I can put some of this in here too and change the color. So now I'm gonna heat it, as I said, to dry the paint and also okay. to get the wax off. Let me do that first. And again, I like to use this one, but it still gets pretty hot. So I'm lifting this up because this is a wooden table and I do not want to uh, burn the table. Please be careful when you use a heating gun, even if it seems like there's not much heat coming off here. So I know, for example, here, I don't know if you can see it, but if you tilt it a little bit in the light, you can actually see where the wax is because it's more shiny. So I can dry this a little bit already and then I can take my, um, my rag and rub it off. Wow. Can you see how that works? That's wow. where the wax was, right?